Hey, hi guys. Um, it's Chris from Loader Tools. First off, I want to make sure that I state this. This is not an educational video on how to use trimmers. If you, if I was going to do that, I'd have a lot more <clears throat> information here. I mean, you'd want to, you'd want to talk about sizing your shells first, uh, what the proper size was. I am just going to um, discuss my product that I'm making and uh, <clears throat> so first off this is the Ellie Lewis trimmer it has a shell, hold shell holder here that takes a sized shell an unsized shell I'll show you here's one that I fired it's 300 blackout won't won't go in very far you see that how it sticks out one that has been properly sized will go in and stick out later on I'll show you but I rely on this the amount that this sticks out for my device that I made to work okay so in order to trim this trimmer you have a cutter here you have an adjustment here which lets you adjust the the uh, size for your shell you have the shell holder this mechanism that clamps the shell holder in place and then you rotate this to trim if you need to trim more or less you move this adjustment here you'll consult your book to figure out what the length is now what I made is a brasket what's a brasket a brasket is a brass shavings basket and I'll show you it's in two parts first off First off is this artificial ramp. It magnet mounts in place. I can give the dimensions for this um, in order for you to know. Your shell has to stick out far enough that the shell holder can sit in there. And you can see there's plenty of room in here for this 300 blackout. It's a pretty short shell. The second thing is my basket. Did you see that? It wants to hook itself up I'll do that again there's really strong magnets in there I love magnets anyway on with the show so right now we can't we're not cutting anything off because I have this set back too far but let's move this up to the cutter and then we'll a little bit here we go. So I'm going to trim the end of this brass. This trimmer has been described as the trimmer designed by machinists and um, since a lot of reloaders are machinists at least know how to use some of the tools I think you could appreciate this very precise micro adjustment then what you can do is you'll notice that the shell has lots of trimmings in it a place to dump those out and if you want you can tip this up I just like to tap it on there and dump those off now you don't have to do that every time Now, if I was trying to teach about this, I would show what the length was that started with, what the length that we want it to be, and how we adjust it. I'm not doing that. I'm showing you how I'm catching these trimmings into my basket. And when you're done with one, put your next one in there. And you can get the exact same trim for the next shell. I think if you have one of these trimmers, you appreciate what I'm doing here by catching these trimmings. Oh, by the way, I have a group on Facebook called Loader Tools. 
I'll put links below. Uh, I have eBay presence where I have a store there called Loader Tools. I've got LoaderTools.com and um, I sell my 3D printed devices and I'm going to have some other types of devices too which I will sell. I sell some other stuff on eBay too. You might find some crazy things on there. I kind of have a hobby of thrift store shopping and uh, and just doing some some yard sailing virtually on the internet and uh, do one more here and then pretty much be done. I want to uh, shout out to uh, the customer who loaned me this trimmer. Uh, thanks so much. Um, not going to name any names for privacy purposes, but um, thanks, and I'll get this one shipped back to you with with your uh, parts. I'm pretty happy with how this is working. I was kind of pessimistic to start with because you don't have a lot of room to work here and this was clearly a challenge for me it's not the first time I've worked with magnets and I really like working with them and I and I buy the best I'm pretty particular about what I use for my magnets there you go the little artificial ramp. I like to just tap it on that and continue on. So thanks so much for watching. If you stuck around this long, I really appreciate it. Um, I try to be very fair on my prices. Uh, I don't make a whole lot on these. eBay takes 10%. PayPal takes 4 or 5%. Uh, shipping costs me. I don't usually sh charge for my envelopes and stuff and a lot of times my primer catchers that I make come with tubing that's usually not charged for them the price of that stuff's going up I'm gonna to have to do something about that so if you're looking for a primer catcher and you see I still have free tubing you might want to take advantage of it anyway I got a ton of videos I do this in my spare time and um, and I think I do a real serious good job I, I get a lot of people referring me to their friends and other people on on Facebook if you uh, if you're kind of shy from Facebook I understand there is a lot of people that's reloading there's reloading communities out there and they're very helpful if you're a starter just starting out and reloading I'd suggest maybe even creating a profile that that you know you don't maybe aside from your one that you have for your family stuff and uh, so you can go out there and and see what's going on uh, a lot of good information to be found anyway uh, I think I'm about done thanks for watching come look at look at all my other videos my channel is see Altic and uh, you might find some other things there that I could uh, sell you or I'm sure there's a few people out there looking for ideas what to do with their 3D printer. So, thanks a lot, and we'll see you on the web.